Well, welcome back, friends, and welcome to Edge of Sanity. I, you know, saw this one, I think it was on Wanderboss channel a little while back, and from what I saw, it looks very promising. Um, a little, a little bit of Darkest Dungeon, maybe, combined, you know, definitely some Lovecraftian elements combined with kind of a, a uh, Arctic setting, almost like John Carpenter's The Thing. See, I think we'll, we'll go. We'll give this a look too, and then we'll we'll see we'll see what there is to see. Five a.m. for you, Bumble. Still can't. Oh no, I'm sorry. It was a was <laughs> was moving houses not soothing enough for you? Because I don't I don't think this is going to get any 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 better. Oh, so we have. Oh, so we have uh, game modes here. Normal. You can save and load the game anytime you want in camp. Also, the game will make an automatic save at the beginning of the day. Or you have Iron Man, which looks, uh, rough. The game looks automatically at the beginning of every day in camp. You have to live with the consequences of your actions. So, so we, we can save scum. Honestly, I'm okay with that. Ooh, Alaska. Sometime around 1960 to 1970. That's uh, that's not promising. Yeah, the if if the moon is staring back at you. Oh, yeah, that looks looks very interesting. Okay, so that's us here. We can move left, right. So the game uh, the game tells you to move right. Obviously, we move left, but that's about it. So, yeah, I tried, I tried hitting space, see if we can jump. We cannot, in fact, jump. We can... It's like that, okay, the, uh, we're flinching backwards, almost. Huh? Back at the post already? Don't even remember getting here. Ah, uh, yes. It's voice acted. I love it. Mm, after hundreds of runs, it all blurs together anyway. No shame being on autopilot from time to time. Hundreds of runs? Ooh, almost sounds like a roguelike. If you are confused or lost, you can check your button bindings in the game menu by pressing escape. Your recent objective is shown in the top right corner. So we gotta find our way back to the facility. Huh? Oh, we got a lamp. Oh, damn blizzard, I can't see anything. I better turn on the lamp. Yep, lamps do tend to work better that way. You can activate your lamp by pressing E, but remember, your lamp uses fuel, so don't hesitate to turn it off when you don't need it. Okay. There we go. Oh, I think that might be our lamp meter right there. Okay, space to run. Prism. <laughs> Always watching. Even our little supply outpost in the middle of nowhere. Okay. Again, th so this this is you know, this is this is long dark bleeding over, but <laughs> it's a mysterious organization in the middle of in the middle of Arctic nowhere conducting mysterious research. A little a uh, little bit of Rudiger about it. Although I think Rudiger was doing his thing like in the 80s, if we're going by the uh, by the the dates on the notes, where this is in the 60s to 70s. Oh, finally, always feels like an eternity. <laughs> That's Alaska for you. That's Alaska for you. Days drag here, even if they're short. Okay, so let's look around for a little bit. We can open that, but let's. I see. So as we walk around, there's that little, there's that little uh, expanding circle. Maybe a noise radius of some sort.
Ah! A human being. <laughs> Look who's back. Thought you'd be stuck in HQ enjoying central heating. How dare you, Frank? Last I checked, I still work here, old man. <laughs> Not since a month ago, you don't. They transferred you. Really? I feel like I'd remember that. Transferred? What are you on about? I finished my run and got back here, I think. You could have checked in or at least let me know then. None of the pencil pushers sent me a memo. Uh, maybe they did, but it got lost on the way. You know, we're the only damn reliable people out of here. Or they're just too busy babysitting the eggheads. I heard there's issues in one of the labs again. Oh, it never ends. What did they do this time? Like I know. The damn radio's on the fritz. Couldn't make head or tails of it. Something about security breach? Could be just the usual corporate song and dance to prove who's worth keeping on the payroll. Oh, great. Hope they keep the audit to the offices in HQ. Can't we just work in peace, damn it? Hey, hey, don't jinx it. Well, I better get back to work. And you better get some rest. Your bunk's still free. Well, they never sent me a replacement. Thanks. Let's talk later. A good night's sleep will clear my head. So many gravelly voices. I love it. But here. Just... I'm just going to check here, just in case there's some looting to be done. I'm tired. I need my bed. <sighs> and now... Okay, the game says no. Okay, we got the we got our nice nice oven here. The the customary long johns drying over the oven. The overturned waste paper basket. Okay, not not sure about that's the uh, that 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 has a good music to go to sleep by, but. As if you're tired enough, anything will do. Right, Bumblebee? Okay. I guess we're not going that way. A dream. What is this place? It's a dream. You just you just said it yourself. Stop? Okay. I stopped. Ah. Uh, tentacle sighting. Now, now you know it's Lovecraftian. For yourself, bud. At least I got two two legs. Go. Oh. I don't need a monster shit talking me in my dreams, man. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. I like him a lot. Your delusions will soon end. It is amusing that you think you could best me. Your deceptions only work on yourself. You think yourself so clever. Yet every time you're scheming is for naught. Hide, if you like. But in the end, your role is to serve as my prey. My plaything. Brother, I think you got the wrong guy. Pathetic. Your deflections, your distractions won't protect you for much longer. Don't you feel? Hunter's breath on your neck. What are you on about? I agree. What are you on about? Enough. Time to wake up. Interesting. So uh, that, that's us. But our text went from white to purple. 
Hmm. Oh, well, the power's out again. Of course it is. I better check the fuse box. Okay, can't grab a torch out of the uh, out of the stove. Oh, Frank's gone. Wonder what he's up to. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's not the least bit sinister, judging by the uh, music here. Okay, we can enter there. Can we enter here? I need to turn on the power first. That'd be a negative. The game says no. Put in... You need to say let me back. Electrical fuse. Okay. Empty. A electrical fuse. And empty. Well, that was easy. See anything else here? Can you check the lockers? Nope. Okay. Anything else of note? Nope, can't go back to bed. Guess we gotta, yeah, we gotta go, go look for our man Frank. He left his uh, robe and slippers behind. So he must be out doing something. Oh, interesting. So, yeah. Oh, so if you hit C. Okay, so like the like the uh, moving houses just now. You, so if you hit C, you stay crouched. So it, it, as we move, the, that's the uh, circle we're making is much smaller. So that'll probably be important. Oh, this radio is an old piece of junk. Frequency's way out of sync and needs tuning. Might as well do it now. Then check in with HQ about the blizzard and report our electrical problem. Okay. Okay, use the knob by turning it left or right to set the correct frequency. Okay, the... Okay, blinking lights... Lights blinking fat. Oh, wait, wait. All employees must immediately report to the nearest evacuation point. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. There's been a security breach at the main site. That sounds bad. What the hell? The security codes reset to 172. I repeat, the security to 172. 172. Write that, write that down, chat. 172. Oh, that's... I don't know what that is. That's uh, probably bad. Okay, one, seven, two. That was close. What was that thing? Oh, rocks fall, everything up. It'll kill the first tentaclus. Tentaclus. Okay. Uh, that's, that's Uncle, Uncle Gregory. Well, Uncle Gregory should have been a little lighter on his feet. Gonna find a way out of the cave. Okay. Um, Sure. Interacting with the environment can cause you to gain or lose stress points. If you accumulate enough stress points, you will gain a trauma perk. 
which can have either negative or positive consequences. <laughs> yeah, very darkest dungeon. It says here plus one. Now, plus one what? I don't know. But we have plus one of something. Yeah, that, that 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 almost certainly is scripted because we uh, we didn't we didn't even interact with anything. We just walked through the environment. Oh, gas! You can use the gas you just found to refill your lamp. You can find it in the inventory using I. Okay, we have oh the radio was six slots eventually, but four of them are locked right now. Lamp it has constant fuel, hunger for fuel, but in return it will fiercely cut through shadows and darkness to light your way. Okay, so we're, we have a we have a few inventory spots to start with. More to unlock. We got collection. Find all the figures in the set, two, three, and four. Interesting. Journal. Oh, we have monsters. Ten Tentaclus. This thing was a human once, a person. Now it's just murder, rage, and tentacles. It is nothing but a puppet. Slow, mindless, but strong. Avoid its grasp. Ah, okay. So trauma... Okay, I guess this is our, our trauma meter. And we have crafting. Of course we do. Nifty. That... Ooh. Um, yeah, that's not good. Sweet mother of Jesus. This ain't good. I just said that, Carter. <laughs> Someone there? I need help. That voice sounds familiar. Oh, thank God it's you. Oh, hi, Frank. Well, obviously. You expecting someone else? I thought I saw... Oh, never mind. My leg's messed up. I'm gonna need some help. You'll have to guide me through it. You're the better medic. Uh, got some alcohol, so... If you get some local herbs, we could improvise a med kit. Booze plus herbs. Infused alcohol or med kit. Hmm. Tough decision. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we got a bottle of booze. Gotta find some local herbs. There's a conveniently placed box right there. With local herbs. Right, so... Crafting menu... Okay, so, for more immediate health concerns like blood loss, pain, maybe even broken bones, this kid has everything to keep you going. One bottle of booze, one local herbs, and we have a med kit. Lovely. Bigger. <laughs> well, we, but we, well, there's bound to be deer in the area somewhere, so I'm not going to say a hard no there. Great, that should help. Give me a moment, and I'm good to go. Remember the old camp nearby? Should be good enough to rest for the night. Oh! And we live to fight another day. So, healthy, uh, I guess, is that our trauma meter? Uh, new trauma is obtained. We got the lamp and we got oil. Finish your first expedition. <laughs> like all the eyeballs just suddenly turned to us. Is our, our first trauma? Phantom Sight. Open one eye and close the other. And keep the third squinting enough to keep the horrors out. If only you knew which eye is which. You see things that may or may not be real. So that's some uh, some script and trauma there. Okay, so we have day one. 
Talk to Frank. Talk to Frank. Weather's gonna shift soon. We can't stay here, but we won't get far without supplies. Got a research camp close by. We might scrounge some supplies there and try to contact HQ. Bring back anything useful, but be careful. I marked the location of the research site on the map. All right. I'll be back as soon as I can. Okay, use the map and go back to the research. But let's look around our little camp here. That's a tent that does uh, looks underwhelming. Oh, there's um, there's at least the top half of a former human there. That's not unsettling. We got a workbench where we make stuff. We make a med kit. Pick me up with water and local herbs. Not coffee, but at least it has some kick. Cures tired status in camp characters. Interesting. And small rock. An ordinary rock, one of humanity's oldest tools. Okay. Oh, so we got that. We have some. We have some storage. There's a food station, a water station, and uh, other stuff, including something that looks distinctly scientific. That may be a wood pile. I'm not sure about that. Metal scrap? Not sure. But yeah, food and water seem rather important. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, if, if that, if the, if that's our lamp meter, I think we're okay for now. So let, let's, let's open up some storage. Okay, oh, use the map and go back to the research site. Let's see, there's the map. I guess that's, that's the ed edge of our uh, our little camp here. Ah. That's where we are. That's where we're going. Research site. Um. Yeah, whoever made this map was definitely going for a certain aesthetic. Okay, so this, okay, so go. Bring back what you can, but be careful. Right, so basically what Frank told us. Okay. So we, we return to camp from there. Um, well, yeah, that... I know I said we're... Uh, when the game tells you to go right, go left. We'll, we'll we'll just poke around a little bit first. Yeah, this appears to be the the main entrance, so odds are good that's not going to be an option. Or maybe it is. Jeez, shut up! You shut up. Rude. Looks like they left in a hurry. Research site, lost letter. Hey, Ma, sorry it took me so long to write, but we've been busy. The eggheads keep holding up work for no good reason. Then we have to do extra shifts to make up the time. I hope I can head home for a while soon. This place gives me the chills. The ones like Dad had before the accident. But don't worry about me, Ma. I have an eye on an extra stash. I know Sam is one. Kidding it shouldn't be too hard, since the codes to our lockers always begin with the room number and end with the employer ID. Anyway, talk to you soon. Gotta run. Everyone's been on edge lately, and I don't want trouble. Maybe after David's back from his honeymoon, it's my turn to take some days off. Letter stops here. Okay, room start with a room number. End with the employee ID. Nice. What was that? Ooh. That that sounded squishy. Okay. Find a way to turn off the alarm. Can we get in here? Oh, we need a blue access card. Okay. The 
want to knock down the door. Okay, I guess we're going in this room. There's a uh, large amount of green goop there. Is a th number thirty-seven, or maybe maybe it's just a green because of the lighting. Small rocks. Okay. Alright, tread carefully. Different monsters have different senses. This one can only hear you, so you can try to sneak past it, kill it, or kill it with a or kill it with a direct stone hit. Press C to start sneaking and stop moving when the enemy is going through you. Darkest Dungeon. They, yeah, they, they, this is very much Darkest Dungeon. Okay, we're just going to stop right here. Is that going to come after us? It is not. Okay, there is an employee with number 37 there. I'm just going to check. A bear trap. Ooh. Yeah, he's kind of brute forced that. There's a 37 there. I was going to go through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. What is... As the name suggests, this trap was meant for big game, but it'll work just as well on monsters. Okay. Interesting. Use a tool to kill a monster. Oh, common maggot. Disgusting little eyeless creeps. Bright light burns their skin. That makes them easy to kill. Interesting. So, could we possibly fry them with our lantern? Although, that, the. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Be wary of the teeth of the dark, it is their domain. Okay, then. Okay, so we got the uh, got the blue access cards to be able to get in here. I can't see anything here. Well, that, well, we're we're back at our we're we're back at we're at our research site. Just uh... oh no, go this is a different game. We we finished moving houses. So now, now we're now we're doing. Oh, yeah, that, that reminds me. Thank you. Real quick, I should uh, should update here. We're not moving houses. We're there. We go. Yeah. So it's a different game. Yeah, we, we, we finished moving houses. Um, it was, um, <laughs> uh, the, the ending definitely took a turn. Not entirely unexpected. Okay, there we go. There we go. But yeah, so yeah, this so this this we are we are in a uh, 
a, 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 a mysterious research facility in remote Alaska in sometime in the 1960s to 1970s. All employees must immediately report to the nearest evacuation point. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. There has been a security breach at the main site. Yeah, we heard that already. Hmm. An automated message. Figures. If corporate had their way, they'd replace all of us with machines. Hey, is anyone on this frequency? Please respond. This frequency is reserved for PRISM employees. Vacate the channel if you are not associated with PRISM. Well, finally, a human. Listen, I'm with PRISM and I want to report... All employees have been to their designated evacuation points. Additional information will... Provided as required upon... Arrival. Yeah, I don't believe that. There's no time for that. The whole place went to hell. Just run! The boss! That stone! That stone! That stone? Listen to me. We can't get to our damn evacuation point. Oh, useless, cheap trash. It just cut off. I guess we're on our own. Let's be we were always on our own. <laughs> boards, you know, push pin and red string. That's always a good sign, right? Empty. Torn out pages. Day one, arrived at site. Weather suboptimal, you don't say. In Alaska? Day two, set a field lab. Minor for main unsuspecting. Assigned Barry to liaise with them about her official research. Day six, no visible changes so far despite their prolonged exposure. We need more data. Day 14, still no visible changes. Natural shielding properties within the mine? We'll send Joshua and a few others for closer expansion. Day 23, no changes recorded. Let Philip know that we, we need some doctors in one of the next rotations. Initial changes might be internal. Day 3B7ZA, exposure to composure for sure, azure text trails off into a series of scribbles that brings tentacles to mind. Hmm. Tentacles, you say? Wonder who or what triggered it. Ooh, new crafting recipe? Oh, we can craft a lamp. Uh, it needs metal parts and wood. Interesting. Go back to the research site and find some resources. Okay. Nothing in the filing cabinets, is there? Nope. All right. I guess we don't have to crouch everywhere. Now, did we go through this way? I think... Oh, no, the alarm... Yeah, the alarm blocked off the door, so we should be able to fix that now. There we... Ooh. Okay. Scraps. Uh, not much of use here. Now, uh, what good is a resupply outpost if Prism doesn't resupply it? Yeah, definitely getting flashbacks to the, the Rudiger uh, storyline. Two water flasks. Nice. Two food rations. And a yellow access card. Find the mine entrance to gather additional resources. Find a way out and return to camp. Okay. So that might be like food and water for us and for Frank. So we can bug out or we can find the mine entrance to get more stuff. Well, why wouldn't we want more stuff? So there's a mine. Yeah, the mine entrance is prop. Sounded like one of those monsters came from way beyond the camp, though. Let's.
let's hope that's the case. Well, now I have to find another way out. Oh, okay. Oh, so that was... We would have gone that way. Okay, so find an alternative exit point. Okay, so we were, we were going to have to go down into the mine anyway. I see how it is. Enter. But just real quick, let me check. Okay, yeah, that is in fact a dead end. Um... Okay, I'm I'm going to hope that whatever that is is already dead. Okay, good. Okay, right now we we have a lamp and we have two rocks. That's not a not a lot with which to defend ourselves. This leads back to camp, but I should check if the mine entrance is closed off. Okay, good to know. Yeah, we're. Oh. Well, that fella just showed up out of nowhere. Some monsters are too strong to take on in a straight fight, especially without any weapon. You can try to sneak past them, trap them, or stun them with a direct stone hit to the head. So, C to start sneaking, or shift to run away. So, you're going to come this way, or are you going to turn around? No, oh, he's very much coming this way. And now he's not. Okay, so maybe we can sneak past him. That looks like a place we can hide. There we go. Have I have I inadvertently found ourselves in another stealth game? I just might. More rocks. Nothing. <laughs> Karma, you little creeps. Uh, tunnels closed off, but I can try the door over there. Check weird laboratory doors in the mine. Subject 56, Batch D. Third administration rejected. Further procedures canceled. Okay. Oh, there's a... Uh... Okay, there's a definite occult symbol on that file right there. Okay. Can I can I interact with a box? No, please, no, 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 no more. I can't take any more. Wait, wait. You aren't one of them, are you? Uh, yeah. Who did this to you? Jesus, who did this to you? The monsters. They chained me, and they gave me strange things to drink. Then they blinded me with lights and poked me with needles over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, that sounds more like Prism than, you know, Lovecraftian horrors. You're saying Prism did this to you? What does it matter? You gotta help me. You gotta get me out of here. The key is by the table. I don't want to die in here. The monsters will come back and then... Please, please, don't let them hurt me again. Okay. You know what this is, chat? This is a trap. 
that guy is so that guy is so definitely he's a monster and when we let him loose he's gonna he's gonna freak out he's gonna come after us <laughs> no dice nothing personal but you look sick and I don't know what's going on here Let me just take that with me. You know, just in case. Okay, so that guy's still on his little patrol path. We'll wait a little bit and let him get some distance. And we'll go... Boop. And we go. I think, I think the red bar is probably our health. I think the, the blue is our stamina. I guess the, the purple is our trauma meter. There we go. Yeah, so we, so we filled up the bar past that initial one. So we're coming back with some more rocks, a bear trap, and then some food and water. Not bad. What's happening, Frank? While you were away, I had a look around. Didn't get far because of the damn leg. But I found some other people's tracks. They might still be in the area. If you rescue them, we can help each other. Hmm. People gotta stick together. We could set out on our own now. But if we leave them behind, it might be more difficult for us down the road. Besides, I'm not comfortable leaving others behind. Are you? No, definitely not. I'll look for them. Oh. So, before going on any expedition, remember to visit the storage station and leave behind any items from your backpack that you don't need. Okay. Well. Yeah, we'll leave... I'll leave the bear trap. Uh, okay, water. Yeah, we'll leave the food and water behind. I feel like that'll be important. We'll take the rocks and obviously the lamp with us. We didn't even use the lamp at all last time, so that's probably for the best. Yeah, we don't... Yes, it would. We don't have metal scraps. We don't have local herbs. We don't have. We don't have booze. Okay. Hmm, excuse me. Okay, so that's. Oh, so we have three spots now. We there's a mine possible survivor. Prism, possible survivor, and forest, possible survivor. Hmm. Where do you want to go? Uh, well, we, we've been, yeah, we've been in the mines and we've been in the prism facility. Maybe we check out the forest just for a change of scenery. Okay, that might be... Okay, we must help each other or save the straggler before it's too late. Okay, look for any survivors located in the area and bring them back to camp. Okay. Looking this way. Nope. Okay. Well, there's definite signs someone was here. Fascinating. Whatever atrocities Prism is committing, they've clearly influenced the local environment, but nature is fighting back. Whatever happens has created new life forms, and their rapid adaptability and survivability are astonishing. 
Though I can't help but marvel at nature's defiance, I am still here to act. Prism must be stopped. The rest of the journal contains a lot of excitement about the new microbiome forming and very few details or useful information. Feels kind of judgy. Food ration, very good. Empty. Gas, very nice. Um, this is a little disturbing. Yeah, that... I hope there's not some, some kind of gas that's going to either poison us or turn us crazy. Well, that doesn't seem normal. See, that's the kind of insight you usually only get from Dr. Astrid Greenwood. That skin is all burned up. Yeah, so those, those little leeches, yeah, so the, if the skin burned up, must got to be exposed to light. Okay, I hear, I, I hear gurgly, growly noise. Oh, yep. This enemy is scared of light and relies on its hearing. You can kill it with some stones pretty easily if you have the time to aim. Enemies at different weak points as well as strong and weak senses, use that to your advantage. It's scared of light and relies on its hearing. Oh, use your lamp to kill a maggot. I have no eyes and I must burn. Okay. Good to know. I mean, there's no reason not to leave that on, right? Especially if more of them come around. Yeah, we, we only have four rocks, so maybe we should save those. Oh, I see. He doesn't want to come this way. All right. Oh, come on. I definitely, but maybe we didn't lure it far enough into the light. Oh, these are tanky suckers. Wait, really? Are you still not dead? There. Good grief. That was almost all my rocks. Also, man, that, that thing took a chunk out of us. Okay, yeah, so direct confrontation, probably not wise. Oh, it's, it's a... Well, a camp of sorts. A native camp. There might be something useful here. Oh, you can use the shrine to reduce your stress level. There are similar places in the hidden wilderness. Native tribes possess knowledge of an item that can also reduce your stress. Ooh, full heal. Love it. And we kind of needed it too. Our, our, our stress was ticking up thanks to our, our little song and dance with you know, whatever that was. Offering to the beast? What? 
Oh, it's just a handful of snakes, but intricately tied together in native tradition. The shapes are simple, yet disturbingly difficult to trace, escaping your focus. You feel a subtle urge to burn it, offering it as a distraction to the things haunting you. Item decreases some of the player's stress. Okay, well, we, we don't have any right now, but that's, that's good to know. Not sure I want to... Yeah, it, it is odd that the uh, the natives are I guess, in tune enough to know how to deal with whatever otherworldly monstrosities we're, we're facing here, but all right. Yeah, I'm definitely hearing hearing lots of, you know, gurgling and, and squaggling about. Ooh, there's a few of them. Okay, so we got some mines there. Oh, that that's oh, the uh, it's a ten ten tacles, whatever. It it look okay. It looks dead ish. Oh, okay, so so that trap must have swung open and then dropped a bunch of heavy logs on top of it. I wonder who set this up. Just for this barricade, you need to find an axe. Some obstacles in the environment require specific items. Okay, so we're we're going into the mine to find an axe. And I guess, yeah, if, if there are any survivors. And and given the fact that we found that... Uh, oh, careful. Yeah, given the that we found that... Uh, I guess trap? Yeah, we'll call it trap. Given we found that trap, there's... Seems like a good shout. There's probably going to be someone out there. Watch him a lamp. Ooh. Okay, that's that's live. Yeah, we should probably be very careful walking under that. And by very careful, I mean don't walk under it at all. We need, okay, we need a green access card. Is that, is that not what's sitting right there? Oh, God dang it, that was my last rock. There's a, there's a, there's an access card right there. Okay, seriously though, what the hell? Unless that's a, a, a just a, a piece of trash that looks suspiciously like a access card, you know, I, I call shenanigans. Okay. Wait, use.
Well, I don't think we want to use that now. I'd rather use that when something's chasing us. Ah, here we go. Trusty Axe. You can use your axe to attack an enemy or to destroy barricades, but remember, every weapon has durability points that decline when you use it. Once durability is depleted, the weapon will break. So press... This has got 15 durability points. You know, press left mouse button to use your axe after you've equipped it. Okay. Okay, that was suspicious. Oh, I wonder... I wonder if... Oh. Patience. Don't know where that came from, but it's... <laughs> good thing I didn't use that earlier. Oh, so that, that was a common maggot. Again, different variety of that one. And then half-baked. Poor bastards. Mutated halfway and then left to rot. Killing them is a mercy. Give them a swift end and move on. Okay, so I was... I, I, I had a notion that something might be coming for us. But good, <laughs> good thing I waited. Okay, but I, I, that, 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 that's, a, that's a key card. Right there. I swear I'm looking right at a green key card. But the game, the game, <laughs> the game just says no. All right, fine. Be that way. Okay, now I think the yeah the uh, the barricade in question is off this way. Okay, we're back to looking for survivors. Oop, booze. Oh, and a, a person. Don't mind me, I'm just going to walk past it real quick, see if I can find any more loot. Doesn't appear as such. Uh, ignore the axe I'm holding. I'm actually quite friendly. Thank you. I thought I'd freeze to death out here. Okay, so we, we can bug out now, or we can go check some things. Okay, I, I wonder if the game might be a, a little... But is that a bug? Because that was obviously a green key card sitting there. You know, let's just... Who's that? Jackie? We don't know who Jackie is, although Jackie appears to be some sort of... Biologist? Yeah, let's, let, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. So we did take a ding. Uh, our stress is fine because we use that totem. Plus we have the we have that. Um, all the creatures, great and small, save Jackie. Took Jackie for a prospector at first, or another scrappy supply runner like me and Frank. She's definitely not the corporate type. Knows plenty of field craft and outdoor survival too. Not sure as hell won't complain about that. Needs less babysitting. The way she talks about the monsters and mutants, her general fervor for all things nature tips her hand, I think. She's gotta be some sort of activist or eco-scientist. 
So we got Jackie. Uh, she has eight morale. We have space for five survivors, it looks like. Okay, uh, Jackie, for love your scarf. Those creatures in the forest. Fascinating, don't you think? I'd love to find out if they're unique to this biome. You must be very dedicated to your research. I mean, they sure are nasty. They're as much nature's creation as we are, and we're all doing what we can to survive and thrive. You're right. I think we should leave as soon as possible so we don't disturb them anymore. Solid idea. Okay, Mal 8, she has... Oh, skills. Food Station Master, increased production by one. Interesting. So she has water and food. We're not going to take those. Doesn't have an item. Currently, she's assigned to the fire pit. This place is a ruin, but it'll do for a while if we prop it up a little. The water station is crucial for our survival. Now that we have more hands to do the work, go ahead and assign our new companion to repair it. Here, there was some wood scattered in the camp. Make use of it. Okay, so the water collector. There we go, water station. So, level one, uh, upgrade, crafting recipe, noisy decoy. Uh, oh, we get an extra inventory slot and the can gets in for a four slot. Nice. Produces two to three water. Uh, produces and restores water in the camp. It must be uh, broken and has to be repaired before use. Okay. Yeah, Jackie's currently at the fire. I would like you to... See if we're going to take one day. That's totally fine. Before you set out again, get some rest. If you're not feeling well, or if you're tired, you're going to make mistakes. Better rest in camp than resting in peace. <laughs> Am I right? Good to know, no matter how long I'm gone, you still got your terrible sense of humor. Oh, and it puts us straight to bed. Okay, water station repaired, two to three, and we get the extra inventory slots. Lovely. It does take an entire day, though. All right. Yeah, we're fully healed. Great. Now we can finally start producing water. This is the first step to surviving these unforgiving lands. I feel like food will be important, too, though. Remember to assign someone to work on the water station before you head out again. Already done. Alrighty, well, we'll leave the booze. Maybe we'll take some gas with us. Do we take the axe? Maybe. Our stress isn't too bad, we'll leave the offer. So we're going to make some more water. We have, yeah, we have one food ration. So yeah, we're... Whoever we get next is going to need to be on food duty, most likely. Okay. Now, oh, I see it is. It's one... Yeah, one in the morning. Um... I think we're going to go ahead and just stop it here for tonight. Um, I will say... I am very, I'm very interested in this. It's, it's got a really interesting setting. Um, obviously, we, we love ourselves an Arctic biome, right? Being part of the long, dark crowd. It is, it, it, I, I kind of compared it to Darkest Dungeon earlier, and there are definitely elements of that, especially the stress management. But... Uh, there's, there's more... Yeah, more, more, more uh, I guess, base management as well. Yeah, so like we're we're not taking a whole party as far as we know. It's just going to be us. But yeah, I also I, I like I like our uh, our main character. He's a he's a definitely sassier than uh, if you know, someone who's just running around scared or or fainting hither and yon. So, uh, not a typical Lovecraftian protagonist. 
I will go and drop a save here. Yeah, I think we will. Uh, I think we'll probably come back to this. I, I'm I'm intrigued to see where this goes. But I'm gonna, I am going to call it for a second. As I say, it, it is past one a.m. But appreciate everyone hanging out. Uh, Goofy, Bumblebee, Will, Satan, and Ruak. And also, thank you also to uh, Goofy for the resub and the uh, the gifty to Bumblebee, who I hope is asleep by now. Oh yeah, so the plant tomorrow, uh, we will we'll go back to the long dark run. Um, I feel like we should we should go we should hit the hit, hit Ash Canyon, hit the gold mine and the summit. And then we, you know, get to the, uh, the, the, the the real business of, you know, laying waste to all and sundry. But before we punch out here, let's find someone to raid. We can pass the love on to someone else. Ah, uh, let's see. Ah, uh, ooh. Oh, Hel okay, Helga's doing some spooky stuff. Oh, and she's playing the We Harvest Shadows uh, demo. That looks really promising, too. Let's let's make sure Helga's going to be on for Oh, but she's just switched to the Mortuary Assistant. Okay, well, that's good, too, though. Okay, yeah, so we're going to go raid Helga, another fantastic long dark streamer. So if you can, please stick around for the raid. Show Helga some love. And I say we'll be, we'll be back tomorrow with some more Long Dark. And, and if, you, if you're here for the spoops, you know, Helga's got you covered there, too. But again, appreciate you, everyone, everyone for hanging out. Thank you, Shaddies. Thank you, Lurkers. Hope you all have a great rest of your day. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.